Life can take some interesting turns when you're a 40-pound rock sliding across the ice. That's why at the Olympic level, curling is a game that demands both skill and strategy. But these days, it's also benefiting from some pretty sophisticated science. As a national coach, Paul Webster knows there are a lot of factors involved in getting a rock to end up in just the right place. The minute the uh, rock leaves the thrower's hand, the, the one thing we understand is it's slowing down. And as it slows down on the curling sheet, it starts to curl. We can demonstrate the curl with the help of a laser beam. Looking down the beam, you can see where it makes a red spot on the rock. Now watch as the rock glides toward the camera. At first, the shot lines up with the laser beam, but then it leaves the straight path and curves away in a new direction. The reason this happens is subtle. One explanation is that the front of the rock feels more downward pressure, which tends to bend its path in the direction it's spinning. That sounds complicated, so you might wonder, why not just keep it simple and forget the spin? You can throw a rock with no rotation, but what will happen is it sort of has a mind of its own. It's almost like uh, R.A. Dickey throwing a knuckleball. You don't really know where it's going to go. In other words, the interaction between the ice and the rock is subtle. That's partly because the ice isn't flat. It's prepared manually with a sprinkler head, which leaves the surface a bit bumpy, like the skin of an orange. The rock isn't flat either. It's concave on the bottom, so it only touches the ice along a narrow ring. All of this means there's very little friction and the rock can slide for quite a while before coming to rest. And that's where the sweepers come in, because now they've got time to adjust the outcome of a shot. The brushing will make it go further and make it go straighter, bottom line. This infrared camera is ideal for measuring temperature differences on the ice. With the camera, Webster can see how much the ice is warmed when a broom sweeps across it. The right amount of heating at the right moment is what gets the rock where it needs to be. To improve their results, teams can test their technique with an electronic brush, which records each stroke, keeping track of things like pressure. More pressure means more heat. Webster uses this information to help sweepers with their body position, so that the energy in each stroke yields the maximum pressure. So our top teams uh, are coming out between an 80 and 90 something percent shooting accuracy on the ice. That's pretty good, right? So what we're looking to provide to them is just that extra little bit of knowledge. And in a sport where winning the gold could come down to a single shot, a little bit of knowledge goes a long way. Beauty, great sweep.